Okay, so this is James from the Hairy Game Lords, and I am today unboxing Underwater Cities at guest location with my glamorous assistant, my dad, who's going to hold the phone for me. Ooh. Okay, Underwater C uh, Cities is a work placement game by Vladimir Suchi. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. And uh, there's a lot going on. It's a weighty box, so. <laughs> Oof. Let's dive in. Ho ho. Okay, so inside, let's have a look. All right, we got some cards. There's a lot of cards actually. They're not as thick as uh, other gaming cards, but um, they look pretty. Uh, do, do, do. Quite a lot going on. I've heard that it is based off three main colours this game, and uh, I've been very much looking forward to it. Uh, the reason I'm over here is because my brother saw a video of me going around favourite local game shop, Patriot Games, and uh, I was nattering on about it because of uh, Nick Welford from Board Deck and Dice. Maybe you'll see a link where you can join his channel over there, but uh, he loves this game and so I was saying about how I will literally never play it because it costs so much. And then my brother, who lives in Canada, sent it through and um, now we get to see it. Isn't this exciting? So, I don't know what these cards mean yet. We will get there. There are a lot of them. Uh, there's a lot of playing pieces going on. So these are cities and I think there's a different kind of super city, which is these red ones. There's a load of stuff. I can remember the green one is kelp, but I uh, don't recommend you eat it. Uh, these are wooden, not plastic. Some little, I'm guessing these are for current and score and things like that. Loads and loads of baggies, in case you're going into a different profession. <laughs> and then, uh, that's a really nice, it's like a magazine, this book. Oh, it smells great. It's got a yeah. new magazine smell. Yep. Uh, shiny outside. Looks really clear actually. There's a, an overview. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to get into. Now, one thing I did hear about this is that the player boards are quite thin. So let's have a look. Ooh, can I do this without wrecking them? Ooh. Right, plastic everywhere. Now that might be a reminder, but there's plenty going on in that. A lot of symbols. And then these are the individual player boards. Um, and, ah, stuff to punch out. Let's do one. Uh, ooh, excellent. So I think these are for your player uh, actions, what you're choosing throughout it. Oh, they so, are quite substantial. Yeah, these are thicker. You could probably chew on these quite nicely. If you're a baby, I keep them away from my baby. Uh, and then there's the really weird kind of three chip, which uh, is like the one chip, but is three in one. So it's an interesting way of doing that. There's a load of stuff, some little hexes. Oh, and this is a bit more heavy as well. That is the main board. Uh, so, We'll get that nice and flat. I'm going to learn how to play this game. Uh, when I've seen the uh, when I've seen the different things going on, I've always wondered about whether that was a card on top. It is not. So this is Underwater Cities. I have been James, your tour guide today, and I'm going to go learn this game. And can't wait to get into it because it looks properly meaty. I'm not going to tell my wife that because I hope it. I'm hoping that she will play. Um, but yeah, uh, we will see more content soon. So please like, subscribe for more and uh, do check out Board Deck and Dice as well to see what Nick Walford gets up to. Thank you very much.